Clever one-line slogans aren't going to spare you the need to discuss policy issues in detail. And the old, tired political attacks that worked once in the past aren't going to get you elected this time. And the reason is simple. Because people get it. Because they understand that if we get this wrong, there may be no turning back for America. That's why the second thing leaders want, that's not the second thing that people want, are leaders that will come here to Washington, D.C. and stand up to this big government agenda, not be co-opted by it. After all, the U.S. Senate already has one Arlen Specter too many. And after all, America already has a Democrat party. It doesn't need two Democrat parties. Now, look, it's true, Americans do want leaders that will come to Washington, D.C. and work together to get things done. But that comes with a very important caveat. It depends what they're trying to do. <laughs> if they're working to lower tax rates and simplify the tax code, they want us to work together. If they're working to get control of a runaway federal debt and annual deficits, they want us to work together. If they're working to defeat radical Islam and the, thre the threat that it poses through terrorism, they want us to work together. <laughs> however, however, if the goal is to abandon America's free enterprise economy, if the goal is to convert America into a submissive member of the international community, yes. if the goal is not to fix America, but to change America, then they want leaders that are going to come up here and fight it every step of the way. That cheer, that cheer, <laughs> I don't know what that one was, but that Marco cheer always worries me because I'm always afraid someone's going to start screaming polo and then it'll mess up. <laughs> Ruin the speech. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, voters are looking for leaders that will offer a clear alternative. You know, this severe economic downturn is a perfect time to embrace and reinvigorate the free enterprise economy, not to abandon it. And look, jobs aren't created by politicians. They're created by people who are willing to use their money to start a business or expand an existing one. And what they're looking for are clear signs from Washington that Washington is serious about pro-growth policies, about controlling spending, and about ending the practice of monetizing our budget shortfalls. So here are a few measures that I think will help set change or send that signal. Let's reform the tax code and reduce tax rates across the board. Let's eliminate double taxation by abolishing the taxes on capital gains, on dividends, on interest. And while we're at it, let's, let's eliminate the one on death, too. Let's significantly lower the corporate tax rate so it once again is competitive with the rest of the world. Let's stop big government energy mandates like cap and trade and instead trust the American innovator to make us energy independent. Instead of having the federal government go out and open an insurance company, Let's make a series of simple changes that puts the consumer in charge of healthcare spending in America. And
And while we're at it, let's pass some law lawsuit abuse reform as well. And finally, let's undertake serious measures that show that we are serious about getting control of our federal national debt. Now, Americans are also looking for clear alternatives on the issues of national defense. As I said earlier, there is no greater risk to this country than the risk posed by radical Islamic terrorists. Let me be clear about something. These terrorists aren't trying to kill us because we offended them. They attack us because they want to impose their view of the world on as many people as they can, and America is standing in their way. We, we need to make it unmistakably clear that we will do whatever it takes, for however long it takes, to defeat radical Islamic terrorism. We will punish, we will punish their allies like Iran. And we will stand with our allies like Israel. We will target and we will destroy terrorist cells and the leaders of those cells. The ones that survive, we will capture them. We will get important... Remember the Marco Polo thing I told you? We will capture them. We will get useful information from them. And then we will bring them to justice in front of a military tribunal in Guantanamo. 